looking pretty solid just like MK did on his lead run. This is almost a mirror of the last run, MK reeling him in towards the end. What's up everybody welcome back to the channel I'm Evil Rabbit here on Forza Horizon 3 with a couple of my teammates who ate my hamster MK6 and USA Stance. We're here to you know demonstrate uh, the EVL Pro Drift Championship that I'd like to bring to the channel so I figured I'd bring this episode out to you guys and explain to you guys how this is going to work. We did a little test run to find out you know to work out some of the bugs for you know points scoring qualifying tandem runs and such. We only did it with four of us we couldn't get a more people on like I had hoped so basically what I want to run is I want to run a, like a five round series on Horizon 3 formula drift style tandem competition for points with an overall winner at the end of five rounds so you know I'm opening this up to the community to you guys to so if you want to compete there's some rules that you got to comply to when it comes to cars and such that we all comply to as well and I'm going to explain all of that in the video right now before we get into showing you guys exactly you know how we ran it you know with qualifying and stuff like that you know the the videos in the background to show you guys you know for a little bit of you know visual instead of me just talking so basically the rules are here as follows for the EVL Pro Drift Championship presented by NRG and Evil Rabbit Tuning. So cars must be rear wheel drive, no all wheel drive with 100% rear bias. Obviously it's a drift competition, cars gotta be rear wheel drive. Um, all cars must have full roll cages. The max tire compound you can use on a car is sport tires. Uh, so that means there's no Horizon Edition cars because those come with basically race tires. So if the car comes with stock tires and then the next tire compound is street, and then sport you can run the sports but you can't go any higher now if you go to a car and the car the stock tire compound is there the next tire compound is race that's sport compound on the car you can't run any higher than that so the next one is no v12 swaps on any of the cars you know that's kind of we kind of decided to stay away from v12 swaps and then uh four rotors are okay though if you're running like a miata or a you know, RX-7, four rotors can be okay, but there is a max horsepower cap of 1,100 horsepower. Um, most of us are running around 800, a uh, little bit less, some of us like 820, but we're running around the 800 horsepower range, so if you want to keep it around that, that's fine, but the max cap is 1,100. Uh, most of the courses will be run in either the parking lot or we will glitch out traffic and we will be running certain sections in like double hairpins or in Byron Bay, certain sections that will set up. Now, when we get to the rounds, you know, we'll explain clipping points as you can see. MK is running right now. He's out on that clipping point, out on that wall. That island right there is a clip. That front there is right there a clip. Then he's got to get as close as he can to the outer zone here, as well as close as he can to the outer zone there. He's on a pretty good run here. And then he's got one more outer clip right there, which he just hops over. And then he comes way off that out clip on that island right there. But that's basically the run. Uh, round one we're going to be running is this course. Uh... I'll get more into details on the course once we find out who actually wants to compete. But like I said, it's going to be a points championship, so you guys can, if you can make a round, you get points for the championship. If you can't make a round, okay. Um, you know, I want to get this out to more guys out there so we can get more tandems in. So to continue the rules, um, all cars must have the EVL window banner slash door stickers on both doors are a must. Now, for cars with a carbon fiber roof, here I'll show you the stickers right now. You can see the door panels right here. It's got uh, the EVL logo, my uh, gamer tag, and my number on each door. Uh, those are a must. You must have that on all your cars, so it makes you guys have to have your own custom paint scheme. You can download this. Uh, both of them are on the storefront. If you type in EVL, you'll be able to find both of those for the window banner and the uh, door placard. Now, the window banner, as you can see on this picture, is on my... E46. Now, see, it's right on top of the window. It's set there. Now, for cars with carbon fiber roofs, you do not have to have it. Or cars with a glass roof, such as the C5 Corvettes. Um, that hamster is running in the video right now. As you can see, he's teamed up with actually MK6. I believe they are running C5 Corvettes. So, going into teams, basically, you're allowed to team up with drivers if you want to have a team, but I'm trying to limit it to like 
only two drivers. So you can have a team with one other person. That way you guys can share tunes. Or, I mean, you can make your own tune. You can download a tune. I'm not really restricting it to, you know, if you if you don't know how to tune a car and you have somebody else's tune, whatever. But I'm trying to make it so everybody has, like, different types of cars. So, you know, if you want to team up with somebody, you know, make sure your liveries are somewhat close, maybe a little bit different, different colors and such. You know, make it kind of more like Formula D. You know, there's a lot of teams that have identical cars, like Peter Vincek and uh, James Dean. They have very identical cars, but the coloring's a little different. Um, Chelsea Denofa and Vaughn Gittin Jr. have identical cars, pretty much the same setup, but way different paint schemes. So, you know, that's where it comes into teaming and, you know, teams like that. Um, so, now when it comes to, like, qualifying, which you're actually seeing right now, uh, we're basing qualifying on a 50-point max run, losing 1 to 3 points based on distance to the clip. And you can lose 10 points for straightening up, loss of 5 points for hitting a clip, spinning out as an instant zero. You will get two runs um in qualifying non-consecutive just like formula d now as you can see here i'm about to take my qualifying run i'm actually heating up my tires because we are running simulation damage in this competition you are allowed to change tires and repair your car after two runs uh lead and chase but if it keeps going into one more time you continue using the same tires to make it harder so we're going to take a look at my qualifying run here i'm going to commentate for you see i start off you know, getting right there, then I'm going to initiate right here. I'm going to get deep out into that outer zone, up against that fence, tapping it for a little bit, get really close to that outer clip right there, not hitting it though, and then I'm a little bit off that clip, but I was really close to that clip anyway, so it didn't get any dock points. Way out on that outer zone right there, definitely out on that outer zone right there. Coming into this outer clip right here, just off the outer clip right here, I hopped over that last outer clip, so I got a deduction of like one point because that wasn't a huge hit. I didn't go two tires over, I kind of just went over one tire. So it was kind of like a one-point deduction. I ended up getting a, uh, you know, a 49 on my qualifying run in there, which was almost a perfect. If I wouldn't have jumped over that curb, I would have gotten a perfect 50 qualifying run. So that's how qualifying goes, and then we go into basically lead and chase follow, where one car leads, the other car follows. Uh, myself, MK6, Hamster, and I believe one other of our team who are there, depending on who's there or not, will be judging. And then when I'm running or he's running, we'll have another person judge based on you know, who I can trust to judge fairly. So it will be just on proximity. The lead car has to obviously get as close to a 50-point run as possible. The chase driver has to mirror the lead driver's line as possible. Here's MK6's run. We're going to watch his run real quick. I'm going to commentate for you guys. He comes in nice and en he enters in nice and deep, getting really a little off that outside clip, not too much off that outer touch and go. Nice on that clip, though. And then he comes back. He's really nice on that clip, doesn't hop it. So he's a little bit off that first outer zone. He's way deep in that second outer zone, nice and deep on that third outer zone. Then he gets a little a little shaky, a little straightened up. Then he gets right on there, but then he hops over that curb right there. You can see his tire marks going over there. So he ended up getting a pretty decent run there for you know his uh, qualifying run, but you know it wasn't a perfect run by any means. So like I said, I wanted to bring this out to you guys and, you know, have you know this championship out there five rounds you know if you guys want to come into it and compete in one round maybe you want to compete in all five rounds you know that's up to you guys you know if you want to compete let me know you know shoot me an email or shoot me a message on xbox saying you want to compete i'll get with you guys on you know when i'm doing the rounds round one will be here soon um i'm looking forward to doing hopefully round one this week Maybe this weekend with the holidays, probably not during the week. Probably this weekend, um, I'm going to try to get it to a decent time where a lot of people can get on. Like I said, if you can't make it and you wanted to compete and you missed the round, you know, it's not a big deal. You know, you can come into round two or three or four or five. You know, you don't have to compete in every round if you don't want to, but you want to compete in every round. We're trying to get as many people as we can to make this, you know, tandem competition like the, e like I called it, the EVL Pro Drift Championship, you know on the channel get you guys drifting with us you know get some good tandem battles going and such like you'll see some tandem battles here very soon um in this because we did run basically four of us with qualifying um i ended up getting top qualifying spot um as well as mk6 got second qualifying and hamster got third and stance got fourth so we ended up bracketing up in that way running basically uh it came out pretty interesting at the end because it ended up actually starting raining and it kind of screwed a bunch of us up as you see here stance ends up spinning on his initiation so he gets a zero for that run but he did have points for his first run so he did actually get into the show because obviously we didn't have 30 like 33 drivers so um 
so that's basically what I'm going to come to you guys, explain to you guys the, you know, the rules on the cars. Like, just a quick lowdown back on the rules. Cars must be rear-wheel drive, not all-wheel drive with 100% bias. Uh, they must have a full cage, max tire compound of Sport. No Horizon Edition cars because those do not come with Sport tires. Those come with Horizon Edition, which actually are race tires. Um... No V12 swaps, four rotors are okay, maximum of 1,100 horsepower, and the window banners and door stickers are a must unless it has a carbon fiber or glass roof or no roof if it's convertible. So that's kind of the lowdown on the cars. That's the only restrictions we have. Uh, if you want to compete, make sure your car complies with those rules that we set because we're all running those rules. Like I said, most of us are running around 800 horsepower. Uh, I have my S15 V8 supercharged. It's running about 825, I believe. Um, isn't here. I'm going for another qualifying run here. I tap that wall again. Good initiation there. Good on that outside clip coming in really nice on that inside clip, but I believe I got, uh, I got pretty nice out on that touch and go came a li I was a little bit off that touch and go. Not, not as close as I could have been. Then I really curb hopped that straightened up a little bit and curb hopped that one, but I did have a good qualifying run to begin with. So that's what it is. I'm going to leave you guys with the rest of this video. Um, I hope you guys enjoy the tandem competition that we are doing. So uh, we're going to get into our actual bracket runs now. So if you guys like what you see, don't forget to tap that like button, subscribe to the channel. I do appreciate the support as well as um, send me a message on Xbox. Add me, EvilRabbit07. Um, add me on there. Join the team. It's on Horizon. It is an open team. You're more than welcome to join EVL. Uh, hashtag EVL on Horizon 3 if you want to find it. So I hope you guys enjoy this. If you guys want to join in, I'll let you guys know when round one is going to be. So stay tuned to the channel to find out more when round one will be because I'll be announcing it on the channel in my normal daily uploads when round one's going to be. Um, I will also be giving you guys the track map layout for round one. If you guys are watching this video, this is going to be round one. This is the actual track map we are going to be running for round one. So like I said, I'm going to leave you guys to the video. Enjoy, and uh, comment down below if you got any questions or, you know, maybe you just want to talk, chit-chat. You know, this is how I communicate with you guys back and forth if I'm not in open lobby with you guys. So we're actually getting into tandem battles here in the competition. It's going to be uh, MK6 versus uh, Hamster. The two teammates actually got bracketed up with each other. They're, you know, right there, they're, you know, smoking their tires, getting them warmed up because we are on sim damage. So, like I said, uh, I can explain more about sim damage in a later episode. So, enjoy the tandem battles. It was kind of a shorter uh, tandem competition than we thought because the rain kind of screwed a couple of us over. So, let's get to the action. <laughs> I, I kind of did. I, I kind of saw it happening. <clears throat> Either he was going to get three or I was going to get two or like vice versa. All right. Uh, Hamster, you need to switch oh, wait, positions. No, he's, yeah, he, he's got yeah, lead on first. I'm so used to leading. Leave me alone. All right. Oh, uh, YouTube Red allows, allows me to lock my phone. I know, I love it. All right, I'm ready whenever you are. <laughs> All right. Guys, All right. first run here in round one of the EVL Pro Drift Championship is between MK6 and Who Ate My Hamster. MK6 is going to lead. Hamster is going to give chase. Proximity and everything from the D-style rules. Run's going. Clean start. No need for a red flag restart. Both the drivers entering into the first zone. Decent proximity, actually really good proximity by Hamster. MK getting ah, all the way out to that zone. Out. Hamster with a bit of a straighten out. MK6 on a pretty, pretty good chaseable run. MK6 on a very good run. Hamster reeling them in though towards the end of the run, but a little bit of a deficit for Hamster with that straightening up. So MK6 is just gonna have to have a pretty decent chase run. And Hamster is going to have to throw a pretty much near-perfect lead run in order to deficit that straighten out. Unless MK does straighten out, we may go one more time. Drivers are staged up again. Whenever you guys are ready, make your second run. MK6 with a little bit of an advantage going into this run. Both drivers initiating in. Hamster way out to that zone. Ooh, MK with a bit of a straighten there. Pretty much the same spot Hamster straightened up in. And Hamster is looking pretty solid just like MK did on his lead run. This is almost a mirror of the last run. MK reeling him in towards the end. So, uh, guys, you guys pretty much mirrored each other's lead and chase. So I'm going to have you guys go one more time. It's going to be one more time between these guys. You guys can't change your tires. 
because MK straightened up in his chase, Hamster straightened up in his chase, and both drivers had pretty identical lead runs. Oh, and oh. the rain oh. starts. Oh, fuck. Are we swapping yeah, roles or... Uh, oh, yeah, you go back to another um, one and run. You go another lead and chase. So one more time. So MK will lead, Hamster will give chase. We're going to do another two runs for these guys. Oh, no. Oof. And we are not, they are not allowed to change tires in that. That's the only rule that we have implemented is you cannot change tires. And now it is raining. Whenever you guys are ready, make your run. I like how you had the zero one stripes. Thank you. There they go. Lead and chase. MK leading. Hamster giving chase. Entering into the zone. A wide initiation by Hamster. But still able to somehow find the line. Nice follow. A little bit of a curve hop by Hamster, MK on a very good run. Ooh, Hamster on his door though. The doors are real. Hamster on MK's door that entire run. That was a good chase. A little bit of a curb pop by Hamster. So he's got a very good, very good follow run with a little curb pop. So MK is gonna have to stay pretty tight on Hamster in his chase. <coughs> Which I feel is very possible. Uh, give me one second, I need to put back on music. Uh, uh, oh, oh, there we go. Oh. My palms are sweaty, Whoop. knees weak, arms are heavy. Arms are heavy. <laughs> I'm in on my shirt, mom's spaghetti. Bruh. Bruh. <laughs> Alright, whenever you guys are ready, we are in a one more time battle between you guys. Right now, the score is pretty even from run one. Entering into the zone, MK staying nice and tight on Hamster. Hamster... A little bit off that clip. Ooh. Ooh, hamster with a little bit of a, a little bit of a break, but oh, ah. hamster into the wall, straightening up. MK trying Unless to MK find spins out, he has this. Yeah, that is pretty much gonna go to MK taking that win with hamster hitting the wall and having to straighten up in his run. So that is going to make MK advance into the semifinals. Or finals, finals, actually. We are in the semifinals. <laughs> Into the final. <laughs> so now it is going to be Stance and I in our runs. What are my tires at? Uh, Using proper tires? English. All right, I'm still good on tires. I gotta heat them up though. Rabbit using proper English. Yeah. Stance and I. Me and Stance. All right, I will get to lead first. I'm not liking the fact that it's raining. I like how it started to rain for our, our started to rain, and then after our initiation, it stopped raining. Yeah. So MK6 really? and Hamster are pretty much going to be judges for minus Stance's run. Whenever judges are ready. Uh, I am ready, Hamster. Would you like to follow Stance, and I will follow Rabbit. Got it. So Stance, okay. whenever you're ready, make a little um, roll off. All right, we are underway oh, here for our second oh. round. Ooh, stall from Stance. It's going to have to work to catch up to to uh, Rabbit. Rabbit with a good line getting out to that outer clip zone. Ooh. Went into the second and touch and go zone. Ooh, Stance has spun out, giving Rabbit a big advantage going into his chase Whee. round against Stance. Spins out again. Ah, I can't do this with the rain. Jesus. I hard. know, the rain is... I'm, like, feathering my car in third gear. Normally I'm just pinned, but now I'm just feathering it. That's bad. <laughs> You're leading now, Stance. Gotta make sure it's a neutral. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wiggle it a couple more times. <clears throat> Alright, judges are ready. Um, Rabbit, when you're ready, go ahead and do a bit of a roll-off, Stance, so Stance can start going. And we are off for the second go of round two. Stance, kind of a bit of a straighten up there. Ooh, major straighten up from Stance. Oh, Rabbit with a bit of a curb hop, but he had to to avoid hitting Stance there. Stance looks like he's having all sorts of car problems right now. His rain is definitely not helping their situation. <laughs> as though. long as ra uh, Rabbit doesn't spin out, he's good. Yeah, that that, that round was is so go hard to not to spin out. <laughs> Hey, that, that was, was, hard. That was good car control. 
Wow. Okay. And, and our finals will be MK6 in the C5 versus Evil Rabbit in the S15. So before we go into that, we will do the battle for third, which will be Stance oh boy. and Hamster. Ah. Oh, my tires up. Uh, we can restart tires, our tires, right? right? Yeah, after the two runs, you are allowed to re repair your cars, yes. You just cannot repair in between one more time battles. All right. Actually, I had 30% wear, so... Switch yeah, you don't really wear it much in the rain. I was at like 20% when we started that one more time. Oh, man. All right, so with Hamster having the higher qualifying run, he will get to lead first. Whoa, these Ooh. guys Ooh. in the burnout <laughs> box Maybe almost tagging each other. <laughs> Maybe there won't be a third place run because the cars will be damaged. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, they Gentlemen. could technically call a competition timeout if they needed to, but... Yeah. All right, you guys ready? Battle for third. Yep. Stance, make a roll off whenever you're ready, MK. MK and I are judging this. Oof. A little bit of. They want to hit me. A little bit of a late entry by Stance. Ooh, Hamster on a pretty good line. A huge straighten up for Stance. Stance having all the issues in Jesus. the rain. That car is not very happy in the rain. As long as Hamster doesn't spin out, he has a huge advantage in this run. Hamster across the line. Fuck. Yeah. And yeah, yeah, I can't Stance stand the rain. Stance has spun out. Stance, we found Stance's kryptonite is rain. I'm hoping it dries up before yeah. the finals. <sighs> I would love for it to drive up. <laughs> All right, Stance. That would be awesome. You will lead this time, and Hamster will follow. Hamster's pretty much just got to do a very decent chase run, not, not with you know inactive chase where he's too far behind he's got to do a decent style chase but not spin out so whenever you guys are ready make your run battle for third hamster taking a very cautious and wow hamster taking a really big flick entry and stance already hitting the wall hamster having to shut it down behind him not to hit him but back into drifting stance is not having good time in the rain here Hamster throwing on the pressure even though he doesn't really have to. He's got to be careful he does not spin out, but I do not think that's going to happen. God. So that's going to give Hamster that. Hamster that third place. <laughs> Dance is going to take fourth, but since there's only four of us today, he will get some points. It for the overall championship. I'm pretty sure he'll be doing some more tuning on that car to make that car handle a lot better. Maybe for the rain. I am definitely going to repair yeah. my car now, before this. Repair the car. Go back. It is the going to take forever for us to warm up our tires in the rain, I'm letting you know this now. Oh wait, I should start recording because both of the guys who were recording are running. Yes. <clears throat> uh, let me open up Twitch. Well, I'm recording if you want, I'll just follow him. I just don't know how to save the broadcast, so I can figure that out. Exactly. Well, you have to have it set up before you broadcast. Oh, well. How do you set that up? <laughs> settings, like we said. Yeah, what in the settings? It's under you settings, archive, it's... Right? Yeah, it's archive, you click it. You click save my yeah, archives. I already have archive. <laughs> We're having a dance drift archive. battle in the bur burnout box. Yeah, save my archive. There you go. What is it? Well, it says... Archive broadcast. Is that all you do? Yes, archive yes. broadcast. And right, you can so just download them later. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, shit! Hello! <laughs> it is his GTA one for some reason. VLFD. So it broadcasts. I have one view. I gotta do the ting. No, you already did. You already did the ting. Oh, yeah, I did the ting. Yeah. Okay. All right. <sighs> Final run here between MK6 and I. The rain did not stop. Nope. All right. We are doing a formula drift, kind of like Long Beach, where all the competitors had a run in the rain. Oh, boy. 
So this should be interesting between MK6 and Rabbit. All right. Judge Both is drivers ready. are ready. The judge is ready. You ready, MK? As he rolls off, and we are on to our first run of the final round. Looks like Rabbit... Oh, MK has to do a little bit of shallow... Oh, strains up just a touch, trying to keep off of Rabbit. Rabbit pulls away just by a few car lengths. MK pulling off a shallow shallow entry just to keep up with Rabbit, but it strains up one more time, and a little bit of a curve oh. from Rabbit, but I, I, that's not I really going to matter. I Rabbit really has a huge advantage up. going into the next round. As long as he does not strain up and has a pretty flawless chase run, he should be fine. <sighs> I love how on your screen I straightened up, but on my screen I was still completely sideways. <laughs> I was sideways <laughs> my that whole time. Straight. Well, we'll see how this one goes. <sighs> this rain sucks, MK. <laughs> yeah, it really does. I mean, if you'd like to wait until it dries up, I, you know we'll both have better runs. <laughs> It'd be a better show. All right, judges ready? Judge. Go ahead. Roll it off. Well, it's been fun, y'all. Yep, there it Both is. Drive. Oh, there goes MK. So guys, as you can see there, MK6 ended up spinning out in the final round, giving me, as long as I finished my run, the win overall in this round, in this little test round we did. It ran out pretty good. Uh, unfortunately, the rain kind of screwed us a little bit, but we will be running in the rain in the competition if it happens. So if you guys make a tune or whatever, make sure you can drive in the rain, practice in the rain, you know. Uh, it played havoc on mk and it played havoc on me as well i, I tried to ever, i was sawing at the wheel and feathering the throttle trying not to spin out so like i said guys if you guys want to join this evl pro drift championship add me on xbox live uh evl rabbit 07 just like my gamer tag in the game obviously um add me up and uh join in the evl pro drift championship um like i said follow all the rules for the cars and you know everything will be good as long as you're cool cool with the rules and the car complies you know, you're more than welcome to, you know, compete. You know, I'd like to get some more people out here and get some more people competing and, you know, maybe have, you know, a huge bracket of people. Uh, so, like I said, as, as you know, you guys follow me on Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram, all of which are found in the description box below. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this little uh, glimpse of the EVL Pro Drift Championship. Uh, until next time, guys, I'm Evil Rabbit. I'm out. Oh,